So the first thing we're going to start off with is a long false nail and then with the second one I'm going to cut it down so it's slightly smaller than the first nail and then we're going to be cutting this up into pieces to create the three ridges that we're going to have at the end of the first nail. Once you've cut the three pieces we're going to have to cut them down so that they're slightly smaller otherwise they're not going to taper out into a thinner edge. So once you've done that you want to take them and file the edges so that they're curved and then with a little bit of super glue at the end of the nail one by one going to start applying them so that they start creating that kind of stairway effect. Now that they're all glued I'm going to take a little bit of glue tack and then on a nail stick I'm just going to stick down the nail and with a grey nail paint I'm going to paint this all over the nail including the underneath because I don't want that horrible white plastic look the minute you lift your nails. So covering the edges as far into the nail as possible once that's dried, I'm going to go over it with a silvery lilac, and I'm just going to be doing this on the top of the nail. And as pretty as this colour is, we can't let it look that shiny if it's meant to be sloth, so I'm going to be using a matte nail varnish over it. For the eyes, I'm going to be using two dots of clear nail varnish to stick down the black rhinestones. And now lastly, for the underneath, you just want to fill it up with a large blob of clear nail varnish, and then using any kind of kitchen herbs, you're just going to fill up the nail. And then once you're sure that the nail varnish has dried a little bit, turn it over, tap out the excess, spray it down with any kind of hairspray, and that's it. We're done.